Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm bored, but who isn't? Um, so my phone, I've had a clear phone case on it because it's red for a long time, a very, very long time. And the other day, not the other day, yesterday, I was sitting down here with my phone case down and I had a bunch of like golden beads and I kept just putting golden beads all over my phone case and I was like I need a new phone case but I don't want to buy a new one because the phone case I have is just fine like it has the surrounding edges that make sure when it drops it drops on the phone case and not the phone so I was like I'm just gonna paint on my phone case so I started painting on it and it doesn't look good right now because it's only the starting base but I have like a white base on it um, just so I can actually put different paints on it and also the paint I'm using is very very crappy <laughs> so I have my clear phone case right here and I'm going to paint on it and hopefully I cannot turn into a bad sucky phone case if you can you can see it's not perfect at all that's not something you'd want on the back of your phone but the only reason why I have it not very nice is because it doesn't need to be I just need ah! freaking paintbrush hold on <laughs> I just need it to be white so I can actually paint over it for the paint to show up so the colors I want to use on this it has to be like cooler colors okay okay quick backtrack so no I don't even tell you when I'm painting on it yet stop tempting me okay I am gonna use cooler colors though like blues and greens and that kind of stuff probably mostly just that so I'm gonna start with the, like the bottom. Wait, I gotta mix blue and green. Allie already got two splotches of blue right there, so I'm gonna put a little bit of green and just keep mixing colors until I get what I want. Green, we need white there because I don't want dark colors. There we go. Okay, okay, <laughs> we're, we're working on a color, hold on. I need more blue, lots more blue and ooh, probably not more white, mm, maybe, let's see, let's see. Wow, that was way too much blue. I guess I'll need a lot of this color anyway. <gasps> no, it wasn't way too much blue. Okay, I know it's risky, but I'm just gonna use scotch tape because I don't really want to look for any other tape. Okay, it's probably gonna peel off when I try to pull it off. Okay, maybe not, I don't know. Who knows, we'll try it anyway though. The lovely white paint that I love so much is peeling off a little bit, but I think it'll be fine when I put more layers on, I think, hopefully. Stop peeling, no one asked you to do that. Just do your job and be paint. Okay, I don't really want to blow dry that while I'm waiting, so I think I'm just gonna put more tape up here and start working up here if this paint will not try to hurt me. Um, <laughs> that part, when I was blow drying it like, it blew off. It, it did not wanna be helpful in any way, shape, or form, so. I will see what I want to do next. We're just going to do a typical blue sky. I mean, why not? So let's get some extremely dark blue in there and some white. Lots of white though, because I put a lot of blue there. And I need it to be a super light sky because it is not dark. Do I need a little bit of green in there? I think I want a tiny bit of green in there because... Mm -hmm. Maybe I want a little bit of yellow in there. That would probably mess it up. Smidget, sm ah, that was not a smidget. That was a smidge on. Dang it, that was too much. Okay, this is fine. This is just fine. We'll just put more blue in and just have a lot of this color. All of you people who know how to do DIY, stop making fun of me. <laughs> I know you are. I know you're like, dude, this, this chick, she needs serious help. Okay, I think it'll be fine now if we put a little bit more white in. There we go, we got lots of it, but I got the color I want. Okay, so I know right here when I put the paint down, it's going to do what it's doing right there, the peeling. So I'm just going to try to put it as nicely as possible, just quickly and like, try not to go in those areas very hard, like, very softly, very softly. I mean, it's still gonna peel but I'm being very soft about it. <laughs> okay, I put a very, very, very 
messy but thin layer on the top. I need to do right here still, but I, it's messy. I'm noticing though, it's peeling off on the sides, which means when I put the white down, I've made it extremely thick on the sides, which makes sense because it, like, when I was doing this, all of the paint was getting pulled and left right there. So I need to just be careful around the edges and try to get it thin. Okay, I'm gonna take the tape off. It's probably gonna peel, which I'm just expecting that at this point, but if it doesn't, I'll be fine with that too. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> it didn't peel. Okay, it, it peeled a little bit on the side, a tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. But other than that, it's good. Now I'm gonna blow dry it a little bit more. Okay, I blow dried it and it's very sticky. Like the eco-friendly paint, it's very sticky. Um, it's dry, but sticky. So I'm going to put tape over it still in hopes, with hopes that it won't peel off the paint, which it didn't for the white part, but it, it could be different now which I'm guessing it probably will, and I'm guessing I probably have to fix at least one piece, but we'll, we'll try to keep hopes that it won't. Okay, for this color, right there I have black. I'm, I want it to be like a brownish, a dark brown. <laughs> hey, okay, I need a little bit more black. I thought I was gonna have to put white in there, but the brown was already light enough that I didn't need to so i'm going to put more black in there and make it darker i don't want it like super super brown i just want it hint of brown in there and i'm putting that right here right there see it's very very dark brown it looks like black but there is brown in there i, I promise there's brown in there okay i have two layers on the the blackish the black the dark brown on um, and i'm going to peel off the tape now so far it's not peeling it's peeled no, it hasn't peeled. I'm guessing it's going to peel on the other side though, or right here. Uh, oh, it didn't peel. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Please don't peel on this side. Please. Ooh, slowly, slowly, slowly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I guess it's fine if it peels. Oh, look at that, it peeled. Oh wait, I'm not even showing you. Look at that. It peeled right there. It definitely peeled right there, which again, it's fine. It's just the sides. And it looks like I put it, the tape, a little too far onto the white. So I'm going to have to put a little more black there. Right there, I put a little too much tape on, or the tape onto the white more than the blue. So I'm just gonna hurry and put some dark right there. Okay, I'm gonna start working on the little details, but I'm gonna start right here. So this is supposed to be water, um, which it's not too noticeable at the moment. But I'm going to put a little bit of watermarks. With this little fine brush, I'm just gonna get, mm, I'm gonna mix some of the green color we have into it, into blue. I have a bunch of paint brushes over here, which are in the way of everything, but I'm going to mix dark blue in here with the light blue, and then I'm gonna put some of this green in there because the watercolor is more green than it is blue. Okay, and now we're gonna get some white on the plate, which I don't have to show you that part because it's just white and there's no mixing. Actually, I'm just gonna take it off of the top here because there's plenty of white on the top and we're gonna do a little bit of reflection lines above some of these waves. It's not perfect, but I don't want it to be perfect. It's supposed to look like I painted it. So people can be like, hey, you totally painted that. And I'm like, yeah, did you know because of all the mess ups? Just kidding, just kidding. Okay, we're gonna make this a little bit messier on the top because I'm not sure how much I like the straight line and the bottom. We'll, we'll make the messier on the top and the bottom. Fun fact about me, lately I have been very, 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 very obsessed with this movie called Peanut Butter Falcon. Um, <laughs> if, if any of you watching are people who's texted me lately or anything, you'll, you'll know this, that I'm pretty obsessed with this movie. Um, 
If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. There's a lot of swearing in it. I will give you that. If you are uncomfortable with swearing, I would say watch it on a place that cuts out the swearing because you still need to watch it. Um, but it's an inspirational movie and I love it. And I just, I love it. Um, and that's what I want my focus to be. Um, Cause there's a bunch of little quotes in there that I love, but there's one that my family loves a lot. And if you've seen the movie, it's what's rule number one, party. That is what I want to put on here. And so the silhouette, it's not a silhouette, the picture I found, but I'm going to try to make it look like a silhouette. But this is the picture I chose right there, right there. It's just them sitting. And so that is what they're gonna be sitting on. I just have to figure out if I can pencil line it onto this, which I probably won't be able to. Okay, I decided what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna get this fine little paintbrush that I've been using for the water lines. Um, and I'm going to get the sky color and make it slightly darker. Not as dark as the water lines I have. Not as dark as that. Um, but I'm going to make that a little bit darker and then just try to do the silhouette. And if that doesn't work, I will try again. I'll paint over that and then try again. So right now it's just a matter of try, try again. So I'm making the color right now, which there's not much to see, but I'm just taking some of this and putting it in an area right there. Okay, turns out they're very lumpy, which I mean, I guess it's a silhouette, so you can't really tell what you're seeing in the first place, but that works. That works for me. <laughs> so I'm going to now take the black or the brownish black that I have and go over the lines and then fill them in. I have the silhouettes done and I'm doing the writing now, which is kind of annoying because of the fact that, um, like, I'm using yellow, and so it's very light, obviously. It's very light, and so I have to go over it a ton to be able to have it, like, show up 100% that I want it to. So I have to go over it a lot, which it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll get it done. We'll do it. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever painted a phone case. I'm gonna let the top dry and then do the sides, but that's about it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's not amazing, but I like it. It's look, you could see all the mess ups. This is a clear case, but um, that is where the white came undone, and that is where the arm is right there. I think it's funny how you can see all of the mess ups. Anyway, I'm done with it. So, I don't know how these DIY videos work. I don't know if I did it correctly or if I'm supposed to do it some other way, but if I should do any more, let me know somehow, Instagram. I don't know if my videos have comments. I'm not sure. Why is this door open? Um, let me know somehow. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, please leave a big thumbs up if you liked it if not I apologize <laughs> um, and make sure you subscribe if you're not already anyway I love you guys so much and as always it's a great day to have a great day and there's no one else here to say it with me you are worth it bye guys <laughs>